So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back once again to the greatest watch market update show in the world. And today we have an emergency watch market show for you guys that you guys are not going to believe. You know, I've been telling you for a couple of weeks that the Miami watch show was totally dead. And a lot of you out there did not believe nothing that I was saying, that the watch market was dead, that the watch show was dead. I'm gonna show you something today that's gonna really surprise you. And I mean this, for real. You know, sweet kid Kino last night, he's here today with me because he was the one that sent me this link that he wanted me to watch it completely. And I did. There are certain um, parts of what I'm gonna show you that's gonna surprise you because this to me, it is the biggest Muppet Boiler Room secondary gray watch market internet channel out there. I mean, very, very powerful, you know? They have a bunch of fake subscribers, but they're very, very, very powerful. And it's unbelievable. I mean, unbelievable. I've been telling you for, lo for, for a long, long time that those Miami watch shows are dead. And this person today, he is gonna admit it that the watch show was totally dead. I'm not even gonna tell you everything that he said. I'm gonna let you hear it because I cannot believe it. You know, we're talking about, like I said again, we're talking about the most powerful YouTube watch channel in the world. Unbelievable. I've been telling you, like I'm telling you, the watch market is dead. Like my shirt says, you know, the watch market is dead. And a lot of you fanboys out there have a hard time believing it. And I'm gonna put something on for you guys so you can hear it. You know, you can hear this and you can see what I'm talking about. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable what this unbelievable mastermind says. He uses my catch phrases. Unbelievable. I mean, he uses my catch phrases that I've been saying for a long, long time. Unbelievable. I mean, unbelievable. Sweet Kid Kino is the one, again, that he studied all this. I want you guys to know something. All those catchphrases that I use, it's not me that invents them or comes up with them. It's not me. It's no other than Sweet Kid Kino. He tells me those catchphrases in Spanish and I translate them into English. But the one that says all these catchphrases is not me. It's not me. It is Sweet Kid Kino. Unbelievable, Sweet Kid Kino. Anyway, guys, I don't want to take more of your time. I want you to hear what this unbelievable mammoth Muppet Boiler Room secondary gray watch market channel with fake subscribers has to say. Unbelievable. Here we go. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This? Yeah, yes, sir. This. All you gotta do is find a platinum bezel so the way it is cheap. As a new buckle, because they wouldn't make it that long. Like I give you this very good price, I think, this one. 20,000. I, I gotta take this call. I'm fine, guy. 20,000. You see his appetite? I see it. That was a Miami show. I know. That was a fing cemetery, I heard. First of all, the show was half the size. Half, yeah. Right. So, he's like. Sometimes you can buy good in those small shows. I heard it was terrible. I've been doing IWGG for more years than most. And, you know, I've had multiple conversations with them in regards to how to revamp things and so on and so forth. And we had that conversation leading up to the COVID craze. And they kind of agreed. Cool. They looked at a retail model. They looked at what they need to do in order to bring in more buyers, like in the physical area that they're in, in terms of advertising, in terms of giving people free passes, not charging them $250 to walk through the That's door and dangerous. all those things. And then COVID happened. The craze started, but what did the craze do? It also brought up the show. All of a sudden, the show started booming. All the people started coming, right? Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, it became alive. And they're like, oh, we don't need, we don't need to do any of that stuff. Okay. And I told them, I said, once this is over, you're going to be even deader because they were, deader, they were dead in the water before that. <laughs> dead in water. And, you heard so me? Dead in water. The JG show I did is, is because it was adjacent to the Miami Antique Show. But the last one in Vegas, uh, we didn't go with watches. The boys went with jewelry because they did a jewelry antique show. It's a great show. We did big business there. But again, it's adjacent to IW. So they did it 
And they said, we basically, we sold a few things that paid for the show. What's the point? The show's not about making money. It's, it's about bank. connecting and see what people have. Call but that's them. not the case anymore. Everybody's on WhatsApp. Nothing. What's up? And still, you want to call them. You know what? Like, whatever I put, if I offer you this, for example, something personal. But do I need to, last IWJ show in Miami, I spent about 100 grand with it. Did I need to go to IWJG to do that? No, but if you if you played your your contacts right, you would know what people need, or I, let's say in my case, and I would like, instead of posting this on the chat that we want, I'd rather call you and say, I have this. It's more personal, you feel- 100%, but for that, we don't need to spend 30 grand to go to IWG. You don't need, but sometimes it's good to remind those out there. Whatever. Yeah, but the, problem, the, but the problem is, is that there's really no, you walk, I used to walk into IWJG, I knew everybody by name and their kids' name. Today, you don't know anybody that even walks into the room. That's because you're old. You see that? Uh, I'm just trying to tell you where the watch market is. The watch market is dead. And you guys have a hard time believing. That's right. You guys have a real hard time believing that the watch market is dead. And I'm going to show you a little more of all the catchphrases that these Muppet Boiler Room secondary great watch market dealers are using. You know, my catchphrases. Unbelievable. Excuse me, not mine. Sweet Kid Kino. She's unbelievable, that Sweet Kid Kino. Unbelievable. Wait till you hear what this uh, this uh, other gentleman had to say. You're not going to believe this. You're, you're, you're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe this. It's unbelievable. But uh, it is true. Hear this out. Hear, uh, sorry, hear what this guy says. Here, so you can see they use all my catchphrases. Unbelievable. They use my catchphrases. And, uh, unbelievable. Apparently, those that's another offer that is bullshit. Don't be this guy. So, so this is someone that thinks that their naked panter eyes were 6000 but in reality, uh, please... That just means he got fleeced. He paid like 8K for that. You heard that? Check he got fleeced. And using my catchphrases. Research These cockroaches use my catchphrases because the watch market is dead. Unbelievable. The watch market is dead. You understand me? The watch market is dead. Don't let these flim flammers keep on fleecing you out there. You heard what he said, fleecing. You know why? Because they are my biggest fans. I said it wrong. They are Kino's. Kino's biggest fan. That's right. They watch all our videos. They know all our catchphrases. You heard that guy over there. That guy, with, uh, he's unbelievable. You know, the biggest Muppet, Boiler Room, secondary, great watch market dealer saying the word dead, dead, dead. The market is dead. Unbelievable. Even the dealer was stunned. The dealer, the watch dealer out of New York City and 47th Street was stunned that he heard the most biggest Muppet Boiler Room secondary great watch market channel say that the watch market is dead, 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 dead. The market is dead. You heard one of his, you know, one of his crony salesmen, you know, this salesman's name is um, the Amish honey bun maker used the word fleece. You know he learned that word from me. And you know his boss learned the word. The market is dead. The market is dead in water. Dead, dead, dead. That's me. Unbelievable. I'm just trying to show you, ladies and gentlemen, so you guys understand that the watch market is dead, that the Miami watch show was totally dead. Let's to give you an example. If they are 100 tables in capacity, there were only 50 tables sold. There was nobody at the show. Get it through your head. The watch market is dead. Dead, dead, dead. The secondary great watch market is dead in a backyard pool and floating face down like this. Unbelievable, but true. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. You heard it with your own ears, not me. I didn't say it no more. I'm not going to say no more the watch market is dead. I'll let that dealer now say the market is dead in water. The market is dead, dead, dead. I'm going to fleece you. He got fleeced. You know, they're using my catch phrases. You guys need to wake up. I'm going to just tell you one more thing before I finish this video, this emergency video. I just purchased right now, I say like around five hours ago, I purchased 
a Rolex Darth Vader black dial with a ceramic bezel. Right. Use. Use slider condition material watch. He said, the gentleman that sold it to me, he was shopping it around. And he was getting offers of $17,000, 17, dollars $18,000. That's right. The Muppet Boy the Room secondary great watch market dealers were offering him for that Darth Vader. <laughs> look, look. That amount. And he came up to me and told me that he would rather sell me the watch before he sells it to those Muppet Boiler Room secondary great watch market because he knows that I've been telling you people out there that the watch market is dead. And I bought that Darth Vader Daytona black ceramic black dial for $17,500. And damn, the watch market is dead. Don't forget it, the watch market is dead. Don't be window lakers. And don't let these flim flammers keep on fleecing you. The watch market is dead. This is an emergency watch market update news. And Kino was the one that prepared for me. Unbelievable. Sweet kid, Kino. Kino, ¿quieres decir una palabra o no? Papi, dame la mano, papi, coño, ¿qué pasa? Coño. Kino's unbelievable. He's, like I said again, he's very, very shy. And, you know, he doesn't like to look at the camera. Unbelievable. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from these flim flammers, these spoof balls that have been fleecing you for too long. You heard it live. The watch market is dead in water. Dead, dead, dead. And his sidekick, the Amish honey bun maker, saying, you got fleeced. Unbelievable. They admire our channel. Unbelievable, but true. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you enjoy this watch market news emergency watch market news don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video and like i say every week take care and brush your hair